hi guys in this video we're gonna learn how to do nesting routing that's because whenever user logged out they don't have to see the pages that belong to the like whenever user logged in they have to they can see that only pages but if they are logged out they cannot see that page so for doing this in our code what we have to do in this home as we, you can see i'm just going to remove these uh, files for now in our home.js what we need we have to do the routing part yeah so in here what we can do we use import and just the same thing that we have done in our uh, app part we have to use import this uh, components using uh, from react rather down so in here what we can do we need a header part so that whenever we if I if we use switch also it will be remain it will remain there so in here what we need we're gonna create new components so first of all what we are gonna do we're gonna create a new page for it right in here what we're gonna create we're gonna create uh, sorry for the name convention like I'm just gonna give this new home name and in in here i'm just gonna give new home.js and we are also gonna create a new page for explore 2 so we're gonna just create a new folder and just give explore and in here we are just gonna create a new file called explore dot js now in here i'm just gonna create import react from react and also going to export it and uh, explore and write explore and it's a functional component for now oh it will be this one also so as to explore and export it export default default explore now in uh, again we are gonna just in new home for now i'm just gonna use it import react from react and also use this const part const new home new home and also return for now i'm just gonna return this s2 tag new home for now and also export default new home so back to our home uh, file what we need we need route to what we need in here we need this slash for showing the new home part and i'm going to use component for now or maybe it's only needed maybe here so i'm going to use new home and uh, okay sorry this is not two this is wrong we need part right so we need part and again in here what we need route part is equal to slash explore and component name explore right now if uh, we have to reuse exact for now exact also so it knows that what the exact uh, route we need now if we just save it it looks good right now back to our app.js yeah it's good now if we just go into our code uh, just remove it and use localhost 3000 again now if i just go to test at the right test.com and test it's working right now if i just go to this part hmm it's not working so why is that well what happens in here 
in our code that we have given this exact in here right so what happens when it doesn't get this uh, uh, path slash explore it will it goes to this 18 number and that's why no match will occur so for this to remove we need this exact to be removed now after this also there will be a caveats of, of it and we're gonna also remove it so if I just remove this and go in here and use test at the rate dot com and you can see this is working and if I just go in here okay this is also working that's good now there is the time for caveat so what happens like if I just write in here this part it will not so the 404 page and this is what not this is not we need right because uh, for this to remove it has to know that the exact part has been like it has been checked and then it's going to be 18 line number but we cannot write in here exact for now so for this to like we have to tackle it so for this to take care of we have to like use this this symbol uh, outside so what we can do if not is log so if it is not logged in so we can use in here route exact part equal to slash render and use this line of code in here so for now i'm just gonna copy it and we don't need the whole part in here i'm just gonna remove this part too now this will work now if i just now in here i'm just gonna wrap it and use this symbol and we also need this is two symbol and in here we can use this part and use it in here and we have to remove these parts in here yeah it's look good yep some in orientation is required in here yeah that's it that's what all we need now if i just go to our code in here i'm just gonna remove it and again localhost 3000 now if i just go to any page that is not been used we got the uh, re redirection page and also if i just test at the rate test.com and use it here uh, it's working right but uh, if we can go in our header.js there is also one thing that i have i have forgotten to use it there's that is we have to symbolize that what link has been like which link has been taken care of right so what we can do in here nav link provides some attributes called active class name it shows that which link is right now active so basically it's a css you can say so we're gonna provide the css for this one and in here i'm just gonna use it and we have given active class name has a, a class name called active and just giving border of border bottom of fire break and i'm just gonna save it and go to again localhost 3000 and go to uh, our test at the rate test.com and now hmm, it's not working right it should work oh my my i have done it wrong in here <laughs> we have to give one pixel solid break right fire break i have done it wrong so you can see in here that we got it just for okay we got it localhost 3000 
test address test.com test yeah we get it uh, it should go look good no it's not looking good so i'm just gonna create i'm just gonna maybe give some new pixels for it so we can check in here this is the part and i'm just gonna yeah this look good so i'm just gonna do the two pixel in here now if i just save it yeah it's look good yep so that's all in this video in the next video we're gonna create building our this home new home page so stay tuned